Welcome to 3 Minute Friday by Arctic Startup. My name is Dmitry Sarle and we're going to bring you all the news in the startup scene from the Nordics and Baltics in quick 3 minutes. If you want to be featured on this video, just send us news about your startup and we'll be featuring you next time. Meanwhile, we're going to go back into the news and we're going to start with the biggest news of the week and that is Pipedrive. They raised an amazing $17 million round, bringing up their total funding to $31.2 million. They're a company that is very close to my heart because I was one of the first users of the software way, way back in the day. I remember that I could send a basically Skype message to the CTO and get the feature I wanted within a day. That's what I really loved about the company, that they were always thinking about the customer and the product. And I think that's a part of the reason why they're successful. Next up is a company called Simplygon out of Sweden. And you know what? It seems like Sweden is a very popular country to buy startups from because this is the second week in a row, or maybe third even, when we see acquisitions out of there. Microsoft acquired the company and what they do is basically 3D optimization for video games and other video renderings. When a creator creates a product, they help to bring that product and put it into the game. It's a very cool company and Microsoft is going to do very cool things with it, I hope. Then we're moving to Latvia, where Frankbot is going head to head with Uber and Lyft. They raised $250,000, but they're not doing the standard stuff that you would expect. They're not building yet another taxi app. What they're doing is a messaging service called Frankbot, and it works on Messenger or Telegram, where you can just message for a taxi and you get it right away. Unlike Uber, they're not creating a new fleet of cars, but they're working with local taxi companies, which is really cool for the company because they're positioning themselves against it and governments and cities actually want to help this company succeed. And that's why they have already a lot of signups from all over the world to use the service. Another company that raised money this week from Latvia is called Anatomy Next, and they raised $300,000 in order to basically do Google Maps for your body, right? So you can navigate everywhere, you can put it in VR or AR, and basically analyze the body. This can be used for education and many other purposes. We hope the company will find a good product market fit in the future and we will be keeping a close eye on the company. Finally, coming back to Finland, we want to talk about Butterfly Ventures, which is a venture capital firm that raised 13 million euros in the first closing of the 24 million euro round. What I like about the guys is that they don't invest in a standard way. They do what's called due diligence investment. Basically, they put very small amounts into different companies and they want to figure out the synergy with the team before putting in any more money. That means they don't have to put a lot of money first, they give you a little bit of cash, they help you to figure out the business model, they do sprints together with the teams and then they're ready to give you more money. Check them out, they're very cool people and we really hope they do a lot of investments this year now that they have a lot of money in the bank and do request that money from them. Finally, we're coming to the news from Arctic Startup itself. We were at Nordic Business Forum this week, where we were experimenting with new ways of reporting. Basically, we did 360 pictures with audio from the event, which you can check out at the article nordicstartup.com, link right here, and tell us what you think about that way of reporting. And check out next year's Nordic Business Forum in Sweden as well. We also had the strategy days for the company last weekend, and we thought that instead of talking about strategy, why don't we implement strategy? And it worked really cool. What we did in 24 hours was to create an online shop to sell our products online. And it was really great to see that in just 24 hours we were able to create a shop fully, launch a marketing campaign and start getting a lot of traction with the shop. The most popular product on the shop was co-founder magazine, a single edition for it. And we want to help you help us to test the shop. That's why we're giving you a discount of 10% on all the products that we have. And all you have to do is put the discount code of 3MF into the discount code. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you to see you next week. Subscribe. Let us know what you think about 3 Minute Friday and see you next week. Ta-ta.